Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum students. As you know that we are discussing the very important module of linguistics that is syntax. And in syntax we are dealing with the basic terminology that are used in the syntax. And in this video I am going to tell you that what is arguments. And I want to request you that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for such more updates, such more terminologies. Let's move to our topic. As you know that this is our expert genetic notation. This is the production from lexicon head. Intermediate production, maximum production. When X projects, it takes some entities that is semantically called valencies that is semantically called valencies valencies and it takes obligatory some valencies some predicates and in predicate we have some participant and if we talk about some participant we have to insert lexically encoded items and that lexically encoded item have some semantic packets and these semantic packets will generate the meaning of that particular sentence and but syntax tell you that how we can combine that items in the C diagram we have this position the argument position and this position the argument position we can say that arguments Requirement is based on the head. Head specifies the argument structure. And these arguments are very very important in the linguistics. And see what are the arguments. Very roughly we can say that the valency of a predicate. Well, we want to make a sentence. We have to generate the meaning. For the generating the meaning, technically we can say that we have some valency. When we talk about predicate, within the predicate we have some participant. And we have to specify that what is the valency of that particular predicate. And argument basically the valency of predicates. But every predicate is specified by the number of arguments. If we talk about predicate, we can say that within the predicate we have a number of valencies, a number of arguments. Within the predicate we have one argument, we have two arguments, we have three arguments and we have the variety of arguments within the predicate structure. And we talk about the predicate, we can say that we are talking about semantics. And what is valency basically? Valency basically the interface between syntax and semantics. The very very important point is that valency is the interface between the syntax and semantics. If you want to generate some meaningful sentence, first you want to intend that what you want to say. You want to think that what you want to say. When you want to, when you think you have the internal layer of meaning, then first your intention generates, then that intention is covered on the packets of syntax. Then that packets of syntax will be mapped to the next semantic level. Mean the speakers, the listener semantics level. So these are the channels that regulate the syntax and semantics from speaker to the hearer, the listeners. Next, predicate frame lexically encoded. When we say that within the predicate we have a number of arguments, a number of arguments. We have to say that when we talk about arguments, arguments are the participant. Arguments are the Participants. Participant mean they can be the agents, they can be the theme, they can be the instrument, they can be the locative something, and they can be experience. Whatever you can put within the predicted frame, they are the 
participants. Let's see the example. We have the example. John saw Mary. We have the verb. And it has some subjective layer and it has also some predicate layer and it has also some semantic layer. And if we want to make a word, make a sentence, we can have the some crucial item. That is V. That is V. We can say that. So V DP Mary V VP here we have D that June. And we can say that this is the head and this is the argument. This is the argument. And this is our predicate structure. And within the predicate structure we have a number of arguments. You can see the example of verb C. We have the verb C. When we talk about C, John C, Mary, John saw Mary. The it verb takes two DPs. One, John, other is Mary. C, the next verb, smile. Smile takes one DP. Mean it has one argument. If you talk about C, C has two arguments. We have the next that dance. We talk about dance. Dance has one argument that somebody is dancing. The compulsory, the obligatory argument is that the agent that is performing something. So we can say that the verb dance takes one argument. Give. Give has one dp, two dp, three dp. John gave a purse to Mary. John gave a purse to Mary. Within this sentence, we have three arguments. It means that the predicate structure of the verb give tells you that the, this predicate structure, the valency of this predicate structure of give forces us to take the valency of three arguments. Let's see of three argument. So we can say that the argument structure is very important within the syntax. And if you want to improve your syntactic knowledge, syntactic terminology, basics of syntax, you have to clear this terminology. And if you have cleared this terminology, you will be able to attain all the solution of the problem. And I want to ask you if you want to know more about such language linguistics, please subscribe to the channel and press the